Welcome. My name is Richard Kaandorp and I'm going to tell you something about the module Applied Control. This module is part of the Master Engineering Systems tracks and it's about designing and testing a controller. First we start with a physical system and this physical system could be a mechanical, uh, thermodynamical or electrical system. The next step will be designing a controller for this physical system. You start with some software and we're going to have a look at different platforms. For example, MATLAB Simulink, Programmable Logic Controller, Huntune, or we use LabVIEW as an instrument. The last step will be implementing this controller, realizing this controller, building a controlled system and check its performance on a few criteria. It is important to come from a process to a controlled process. And we do that in a few steps. We have a certain technique to do that. First, we describe the system with mathematical relationships and we are going to build a model. This model could be white box or black box. And the next step is simulate this model and analyze its behavior. Then you're going to design an appropriate controller and this controller uh, will control your process and a certain variable you choose. After you have designed a very good controller, you are going to implement it in the process. In this way, you come to a, from an uncontrolled process to a controlled process. In our lab, we use a few setups. We have a motor generator, we have a level setup, lock and key in which you choose the position to control, and a temperature setup, for example. The content is spread in two terms. The first term will be feedback control, uh, some information about the optimal control, so multivariable systems and optimization. And in controller implementation, we organize some workshops around the platforms. In term two, we have also feedback control, but digital control will come in in which you're going to design a digital controller and apply control strategies. And this apply control strategies course will teach you more complex control structures. In controller implementation workshops, we have some guest lectures in term two. Besides the educational content, we also have minor project. So we have courses and you need to apply those courses into a small minor project. If we look at the courses, the first term you have feedback control. Within the course feedback control, we use the various domains, time, frequency and the S-plane in order to design a controller. Also, we use some specific techniques to deal with serious delay times or wind up. In the second course, we are going to look for the most optimal way to design a controller. So within a range, there is an optimal path for the controller and we're going to use MATLAB simul Simulink in order to find a specific setting. Within MATLAB Simulink, we define an objective function to do that. In controller implementation, we organize a few workshops around the platforms. So we have uh, sessions in which you use the various platforms on a setup and know how to design a controller within these software packages. In the second term, we also have a few courses. We have feedback control, especially on the frequency domain, and it will go over into digital control, in which you design a digital controller. Another course is the apply control strategies, in which we use some various control structures like cascade, override or selective control, which might be helpful in controlling a process. And the last part will be a controller implementation in which we organize a few guest lectures um, in which you see how a controller is implemented in a real practical system. In the minor project, you will do group work. So you work together with four students and you're trying to create a controlled system. You start with a small project plan 
analyzing the physical system. You set your requirements or your control goals and then start to design a controller into software. After you have designed it into the software, you implement it into our setup and check its performance so you validate the behavior of the control system. In this way, you have a route towards a controlled process. Thank you.